Yo, what is up you guys? My name is Benji and welcome back to another video. So far today in the market, we are having another volatile day. The market was super red just like an hour ago, but right now Dow is up over half a percent, S&P is up around half a percent, and NASDAQ is finally in the green 0.08%. Some of the biggest headlines today, jobless claims tumbled below 500,000 and another sign the labor market is getting closer to pre-pandemic levels. So that's of course very good as jobless claims goes down. Of course, it means more people are hopefully getting back to work. But the biggest news of the day and what we're gonna be talking about in this video for the most part is it's what Fed Kaplan announced later. Fed Kaplan wants to taper talk sooner rather than later. So Dallas Federal Reserve Bank President Robert Kaplan on Thursday said he wants the central bank to start talking about reducing policy accommodations sooner than rather than later, saying the economy has improved faster than he expected and citing worries about excess and imbalances in the markets. So this is what we've been talking about for a while now. There is going to be a time and place where the quantitative easing the Federal Reserve spending money buying bonds every month, I think it is. There is going to be a time where the Fed does off the gas. And this is, of course, going to shake up the markets quite a bit. When this was announced, the SPY dropped a matter of like maybe three or four points and then just a matter of maybe 20 minutes. So nothing too, too crazy. And the more that this is talked about earlier this week, Yellen was also talking about this. And now Kaplan's talking about this. We'll see what Jerome Powell has to say about it, though, because he has kept his word pretty certain that he's going to be letting us know far in advance when they do start letting off and that he does still feel like there is some way to go. So we will have to see what he says. But this week, we've heard that from Yellen. We've now heard it from Kaplan. Now that brings you to the next point. In my opinion, do we see things at a level where the Federal Reserve needs to keep spending more and more money? To be honest, it's probably a good point that Kaplan makes, but at the same time, the minute they stop that spending, the party is somewhat going to be over in a way. Um, although I think for the longevity of our economy, the global economy and everything else, I think it is going to be good. But either way, it's something very important to watch very closely. We've been watching now for a while. But so far today for the long-term portfolio, we're having a bouncy day. We are pretty much flat for the most part. Now we're up around a third of a percent, sitting at 422,500. ETF portfolio is now up 1590 long-term growth portfolio was getting hammered earlier and now it's down 1.29 percent we're almost down two thousand dollars as of all time in this portfolio so that's almost 10 percent that we're down in the long-term growth portfolio which is crazy the day trading portfolio didn't do anything in that portfolio today so it's flat uh the meme portfolio we closed out of our sqqq earlier today for a small like 12 or 13 dollar profit i think it was um, so we did make a trade on that as well today but let's kick this off with the etf portfolio this is where we're sitting as of right now since we started the portfolio, we're still down $44, much due to the TQQQ, which we are down $39.89 on. So pretty much all of our losses is from the TQQQ, which brings me back to about a week ago when I was talking about the fact that I want to get rid of this out of this portfolio because it is far too volatile for what I want to make this portfolio up of for the most part. So we will be getting rid of the TQQQ sometime soon here. At least I hope so. What we grabbed today, though, we grabbed one more share of NUSI uh, for $26.90. That one was down like 3%. Also grabbed another share of QYLD at 2206, which that one has returned back to 2225 uh, as of now. So we're still chipping away at the ETF portfolio. I'm going to be making another deposit in here very soon. Next, we have the long-term portfolio, the long-term dividend portfolio. We're still up 1269 on the day. We're sitting quite pretty on this portfolio because a lot of these stocks don't move around too much, and a lot of them actually have been outperforming the growth as of recently. Uh, so we're still looking pretty good on this one. As far as what we grabbed today for new purchases, we grabbed um, two more shares of Walmart at 139.91, and then we opened up um, a new working order for more Q yield on this portfolio as well. I'm just trying to buy Q yield all over the place. I'm buying it in this portfolio. I have it in other portfolios. I'm just trying to get as much Q yield to stabilize all the portfolios as I can. But as far as the purchases go today, just some Walmart. We were able to grab Walmart under 140, which I like. We're at 38 shares of Walmart now at average cost of 136.25. Again, Walmart is our position in the long-term dividend portfolio i'm trying to grow to 100 shares as soon as possible so that's what we're really working on here next up we have the long-term growth portfolio which is quite ugly as you guys see we're down around 2400 dollars around 10 percent down since we started this portfolio a matter of maybe three or four months ago um obviously the worst is still peloton fastly got absolutely crushed yesterday they had a horrible earnings and uh fastly dipped from 62 to like 40 dollars like crazy crazy dip um, it's even worse than I even expected, and we have 11 shares of that, so luckily it's not our biggest holding, but most of our biggest holdings, unfortunately, are down some of the most, so I don't know how that happened there, but we went ahead and made one trade today in this portfolio. I went ahead and sold my one share of Nets for a small profit of like $2. We sold it for $75.39. The reason I sold it is because we only have $800 of cash in this portfolio, so 
whenever I do have an opportunity to sell something to break even at this portfolio at this point, I'm going to do so because I want to sit on some cash with the growth stocks. I don't think this is the end of the drop. I think it's only going to get worse, especially with inflation and with the Federal Reserve tightening up on spending. I think we are going to see growth stocks on sale for the rest of this year on and off. So I'm going to move to some cash when I can in this portfolio. Uh, but for the most part, we're bag holding on a lot of these stocks. And last up here is the meme portfolio still down a little bit. Like I said, we did make a trade today. We sold out our 10 shares of SQQQ at 1188. We bought them for like around 11, I think a few days ago. So we made a small little profit, but, but when it comes to the small meme portfolio, profit is profit. I'm trying to grow this portfolio back to where it was a uh, pre micro cap crash and pre growth crash, I guess you could say, but there we have it guys. Pretty mild day of trading today. I'm just watching and waiting for the most part, sitting on some cash, closing out of some older plays, cutting off some fat from the portfolio and really just waiting for some news. I have to say it's been kind of fun to be trained in this market again. We had very low volatility for a while there, but it's definitely back. Pretty much ever since earnings season started a few weeks ago like throughout the day we'll see big big dips on the spy and it'll go right back up i mean from just a matter of an hour ago we saw a spy at 414 now it went up to almost 418 like there's some chances to make some money in this market if you're just if you're just careful and patient and also there's lots of deals to load up on for long-term investors so but that's gonna do it for this video guys thanks so much as always for stopping by please drop a like leave some comments and questions on this video and make sure to please subscribe as always, thanks again, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. And lastly, you guys, we do have a Discord server that's dedicated to investors like you. It's full of dividend investors, option traders, day traders, and much, much more. So join the Discord. The link is down below in the description. It's absolutely free to join, and I hope we see all of you guys in there.